I happened to see recently that Bell and Howell has another new camcorder on the market. It is the DV12 HDZ. It's basically the same thing as the DNV16 HDZ, except without the night vision capability. Unfortunately, that means it has all the same problems that the 16 had, including what you can hear right away, the extremely tinny audio from the built-in microphone. Pretty much there's no bass at all, just very, very tinny. And this doesn't even have the trick in the menu to uh, turn off the auto gain control to make it sound better like you can on the DNV16 HTZ. It also has the same problem with the focus hunting in and out. It's not so bad in bright lighting, but in low lighting you definitely can notice it. You can also see that the color saturation is really boosted and there's no way to turn it down. And it gets even worse in low light. Here's a low lighting situation and you can see they really boosted the color saturation. So and there's no adjustment for it in the menu. This does have a built-in LED spotlight, but it's pretty dim and it's really just focused in the middle of the image, so it doesn't really help that much. It's just like a spotlight right in the middle, as you can see. So that's not really that useful. This is recording in 720p mode, but trust me, 1080p doesn't look any better. This does have 10 times optical zoom, but there is no image stabilization. So at full zoom, it does get a little shaky. That's with me trying to hold it as steady as possible, so you can see it's shaking quite a bit. It's a rather slow zoom, too. It really wouldn't be that bad of a camcorder if only the audio sounded even halfway decent. I mean, they're trying to sell this at the, basically the same price as the entry-level HD camcorders from brands like Sony and Panasonic. So, if you compare those to this, it's just not even competitive at all. Here's a quick music sample so you can hear how bad the microphone really is. speaker grill looks really sparkly on the LCD when I'm recording this so I wonder if it's gonna look like that when I actually watch the video. The really ironic thing is that on top of the camcorder it says right there you can kind of see it on this photo it says audio enhanced so I really wonder did anybody even test this camcorder after the prototype was made or did they just ship it out without even testing it so i was going to do a full review of this model but it's really not even worth it because if you're considering this camcorder don't waste your money get something else even the cheapest camcorders from sony or panasonic or even jvc would be better than this